another day, another day to be better than ever, the best version of you, and more puzzle quests, and this time, day three, with the more annoying thing, Mordo and Star-Lord node, and I also got to do some drawings from the Loki and Friends store, as well as introducing, so... While I normally would split the video up into two, and we're just gonna combine them into one, introducing and walking the shield. Day three warm up, well, the, you know what to do the, against these guys here. Don't match strike tiles, or if you do match strike tiles, be able to get rid of them. Um, again, we're gonna try and get through this here super quickly bring in Thanos bring in half four now again you can use it anybody that you want to I'm just trying to get through these notes here quick fast and in a hurry uh, nothing good but this is probably the best match I can do. See, that's what I wanted. I wanted a green match so I could pop them out. Oh well. Boost, heroic tokens, more shards for Loki. Again, date. Well, I'm glad I actually, I actually got my shield up in time. My eight hour shield. Now it's health pack conducive indeed. Conducive indeed. Oh gosh. With Havoc and, and Carnage. Oh boy. I kind of wish I had Adam Warlock at this point in time here, but. Gotta have, gotta have Wanda and Colossus though. Here. Here, Blade, Blade makes strike tiles if there's some number of red on the board. Wolverine makes strike tiles with his green um, ability, which costs nine. Blades is passive. Uh, Wolverine also makes strike tiles on red, though that costs 14. Um, Blade also, with his black ability, Night Stalker, which costs eight, drains AP from our strongest color, and then his purple ability. Puts two attack tiles on the board, and they get stronger if there's more strike tiles on the board. And then Medusa again, he anytime a enemy strike attack or projectile is matched by her team, they heal by by some number. Uh, if we match by one of their strike attack projectiles. She gains AP and upper Thor of random colors. Her red's a two turn, I mean, excuse me, a four turn. Countdown tile that does damage to us each turn. If it's matched away, it cre creates two, uh, two attack tiles. And then finally her purple ability, which is uh, 10 purple, hair metal, uh, 16, 16 tiles on the board get randomly swapped if they happen to hit uh, any strike attack or projectiles that belong to us they get converted and strengthened so why not bring it again I could and forget it yeah I said we're, we're going to run through this quickly so let's let's run through this here quickly because because the main event of the evening is a Star Lord and, and his uh, nonsense, so to speak. You know, maybe we might need half health for. No, I don't know. Excuse me. 
Loki pose. All right. Toughen up. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Peggy Carter with her red ability does target damage, ignores projectiles. Her yellow ability makes all of our powers uh, a lot more expensive. Well, active powers expensive for with uh, with a Peggy tax of four AP. Plus, is a well whenever she's over forty percent health. And then our blue ability stuns um, everyone except for the target. The indirect stun. And then it does damage to uh, whoever is targeted um, by however many countdown tiles that um, based on the number of friendlies remaining on Peggy's team. Alright. Uh, Deadpool. Okay. Oh, man. I'm overthinking. Brain's, brain's like, you almost spit on all this information, but the mouth is, you can't keep up. Alright. Peggy's abilities cost nine for her red the passive yellow is passive and then her blue ability cost 11. deadpool his red ability costs 13. it does target damage and then heals deadpool for some amount i don't know the exact amount but it but it's a true heal his black ability x enforcer if in if a teammate of him of his is damaged by whatever the threshold might be, he creates a one turn countdown tile that does damage to whoever's out in front. And then countdown for what? Cost seven seven in purple creates I think it's is either four or six countdown tiles on on whatever whomever Deadpool targets or I think it's the strong or it's actually the strongest color for the team yeah for the enemy team and then if they're matched away it does damage uh, if the counter tiles are zero they don't do anything and then finally Agent Venom uh, his red ability cost 12 again it does direct damage to the target if you have 12 or more AP it does all, even more damage his black ability has two components the active component costs 5 drains 2 AP and whatever your highest AP pool is and then does damage and then if you have more than 14 or it might be 16 AP depending upon the level of black um, the power will convert to alien weakness where venom will destroy some number of random tiles on the board it'll do damage and it does damage to venom as well and to finally take cover it cost 11 uh, does it does team damage and makes the uh, ally team invisible all right well we're gonna need a blue user here and again i want to get through this here quickly so let's bring in wanda let's just do some retaliatory damage um here peggy you can jump out in front Dog is probably like this. It's like, oh my gosh, why am I taking all this damage? Yeah, deal with it. Deal with it, Froggy.
Alright, the had to take a little little bit of a March break. Because I kinda kinda wanted to get my energy levels up. And Wanda's more or less doing her thing. Let's turn Deadpool off real quick. <clears throat> so that he can't really fire off any of his powers. Get help a couple times, then go with Instigator. Again, I probably could have sent send folks airborne, but again, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to this very very quickly because so again, the first three nodes are pretty easy to go through for the most part. This is the one everybody has trouble on. The test of skill, uh, as I always say here, it's annoying. Thing is annoying, his green green ability destroys um a diamond shape set of tiles on the board and it costs twelve. Thank goodness it doesn't do team damage. Uh but if you got anybody that relies on invisibility tiles, um yeah, you you don't want to see that power. His yellow ability is a passive where if either Wardo or Starlord takes some some large amount of damage, thing jumps out in front, creates protectiles. And those protectiles will will chew up a lot of damage and then his red ability is clobbering time. Two turn stun does does direct damage. Star Lord, if you fire off any power, his yellow ability will activate, creates a three turn countdown town, which makes Mordo thing and Star Lord's powers uh two AP cheaper. His purple ability it costs eight creates uh I believe it's three at level five. Three countdown tiles on on selected tiles. When the countdown tiles reach zero, it does team damage. So again, if you're invisible, that's gonna get, oh excuse me, that's gonna get past invisibility. And then his red ability, hey, what's that? Uh, it does target damage to the enemy and. The damage is increased uh, based on the number of countdown tiles you have on the board with a max of six, I believe. So I think it's that's damage capped. Mortal, uh Staff of Living Tribunal. I again, I always forget this here because I don't use Mortal enough. I think that cost eight, or it might be no, that one cost eight. His Purple ability costs nine, and his blue ability costs ten. But Staff of Living Tribunal creates uh, charged black charge tiles on the board. Um, if there are four or more charge tiles on the board, then it does additional damage. Um, so what is it? The leaping Vo leaping boost of Voltor. That's what it is. Anyway. Uh, that costs 10 blue, um, changes whatever our strongest color is, uh, well, random, well, uh, excuse me, it transforms basic tiles that happen to be in our strongest color to black charge tiles and then does damage and then power with a purpose that costs 9 damages uh, the target 
and it drains some amount of AP, but it does damage, but the damage is increased based on the amount of AP that we have. So you don't want to have 20 AP and like a, and an AP total, and then he he hits you with that because that would be not cool. Alright. Now, how are we going to handle this? Let's strictly just use uh, four stars for the time being. Uh, let's see here. My strongest color is purple. Maybe Captain Marvel will work. Wool. I'm gonna, I'll hop into the fight and see, see what it is. Red, okay. So, yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave the thing first. And the idea really is to use use Carol's ability to to get us some number of special tiles on the board and to help fuel up our our black ability or our purple ability and then use use her black ability uh, we got Egg. Mm. Okay, I was looking to see. Was there going to be anything worthwhile? But nope. Uh, no instigating. Not, not right now. But we can get help. Let's turn, turn the alligator Loki invisible again. Well, again, he can. We can we can bring Loki back into the fight. I kind of wish I had those shadow play tiles out. Oh well. Ooh, get punched in the face. Ha ha. Have a living tribunal. All right, let's let's go back invisible again, even longer. Let's do instigator. I said we're not gonna give them any valid targets at all. Oh no, no, no! Just in case we kind of, we kind of do need Loki to uh, to pop back up on the board to like absorb a hit or absorb a hit or two. And I screwed myself. Rat. Yeah, we still in con I'm still in control of this fight. As long as they 
they make charge tile matches and and it's in good spots I can just become a log a logarithm that is Yeah, just just fire fire off that power, buddy. Fire off that power. Oh, thank you, Star Lord. I'll go back invisible again. Um Mortal, you can do your thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll do use instigator again. We'll get some help. Well, actually, before we get help, let's make sure that we put it at least on purple. Uh, Mordo, you need to be doing doing the whole matching tiles thing. Thank you, sir. Sir, I still need you to do that whole matching tiles thing. But don't get rid of my my purple tiles. Oh well. <laughs> Oh well, uh, five star Loki, you're you're dead weight, dude. Like, like your your overpowered gainer or higher than normal boosted gainer Loki persona. Well, variant did all the hard work. You were there as a meat bag. All right. Gotta do the introducing Loki thing here. Ah, uh, the alligator of mischief. Well, as always. Squirrel Girl Howard the Duck and Mockingbird. Well, it, well, at least the good thing is with Howard the Duck, he doesn't have his uh his blue ability, so. That's going to be um, something that's going to be rather annoying, so to speak. I'm really looking for, for yellow tiles so I can get some help. That's the main thing I want to do. This is gonna suck. No, oh, no, no. Cause I thought I, I forget the computer fires off. It fires off. It fires off random powers. Get a match five opportunist, and I'm just a log. Instigator. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if she's if she's loud like a bomb. Also, too, if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? 
Apparently with her bombshell it does not. I'm just a log. I'm just a log. D All right, let's see here the second one. All right. Let's see here who we have to eat. Craven the Hunter. Okay, this is going to be unique to say the least because, well, Craven doesn't. Can't really deal with him because. Alligator Loki doesn't make any special tiles and he's gonna get. Get five turns of invisibility. So, it's gonna be me really focusing on the denial of alligator Lucy's colors. And the main thing I really want to do is I want to get enough black so I can fire off Wounded Pride. That way, when Gator Loki finally comes out of their invisibility, I can I can finish them off. So, uh, let's see here. You have six in purple. That actually might be enough to finish it off. As long as it doesn't get matched away. He'll pop back visible. Boom. Oh, well, okay, that's half. Now, if you're wondering why in the world are those... Those uh, strike tiles on the board, that's because of the caravan support. Get up. It's okay. Again, word. Cause you gotta generate, generate more purple, more blue. Got two more turns to deal with this. All right, you can go get some help. Now let's make sure that Wounded Pride is in a responsible place, which it is. Bye bye. The I miscalculated with um with Craven. Like I was, I was looking in my AP pool and Loki's AP pool, and I'm like, okay, well that that should be enough, and uh, it wasn't. Now this note here I heard was super annoying. Gator Loki and all the different variations of of Wasp. All right. I mean, I probably should talk about Wasp, but there's really nothing really to talk about. See. She's just going to be... 
super annoying. Pain index. Then I know there's gonna be some some sort of stealing. And with um swarm tiles, you can't can't choose any tiles because that's locked. Now it's unlocked, and now back to that buzzing sound. need to fire off get help now before I lose any of the purple cool I'm invisible and I've healed oh yep go ahead and freeze game Aha, change those there to the charge tiles. Oh no, I do not want to give them a match five. Not in yellow. No, sir. Now, I will take the match five. And now it's going to be yellow jacket time. Eh, great, he's gonna be visible or invisible, so this is gonna be super annoying. Again, the main thing we want to do is to is the prevention of greens and 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 blacks that's the main thing you want to do again easier said than done uh, I would prefer them to make the match in charge tiles not me get some help go invisible all right, now let's get rid of Yellow Jacket. Probably should have made the um, some of the other matches, but I want to try and make sure that he does not get any blue. Black Charge Child is okay if you if you have just to match that away. Because remember, death roll does its thing again. He can sting like a bee all he wants to. He can heal. Alright, let's see. Red does 20 plus the triple AP. It's not going to be enough to get him out of the fight. I'd rather for them to do that. Couple more turns. Ah, why won't you act right, computer?
No blacks for you. Can't match that away because of the, um, because they're locked. Nope, denial of the blue. AI, please, please, I am begging you to match away the charge style so that I can do an evil death roll. Yellow jacket's gone. Alright, Loki, time to go invisible again. We'll go instigator. Get some match fives. Get some charge tiles. Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh, she's almost down, but we gotta take a small commercial break. Disney's One Saturday Morning now continues. All right. Yes, game, I am aware. And I just... Nope, never mind. I was about to say, I messed myself over. I, I forgot about death roll. Anytime they match a charge, Tom, damage is dealt, dealt to them. Again, that, that note there, again, most folks were hyping it, hyping it up. Like, oh my gosh, this note here is super hard. It's like this. Some people that play more Puzzle Quest don't understand a thing called target priority. Or I should say threat assessment. Uh, again, independent of, of how the board starts out or, or anything like that. It's like there are certain enemies in Marvel Puzzle Quest that you, you no, matter, no matter what's going on, you have to take them out first. Invisible enemies are are ones you have to take out first, unless you you don't have a uh, team up tile to go past invisible enemies. So again, team ups to go through invisible enemies, or or you know just better threat assessment. Then again. When I finally do the video for the uh, for the roster construction, I think I think that's probably going to be one of the things that I'm going to have to assess as well. Anyway, so we got Double Dinosaur and we got Lizard. Both both these both of these dudes here use green. Um, so the main thing we need to do, we need to, we need to get rid of at least, at least the lizard first. Double dinosaur, he, while he can be annoying, he doesn't have, he doesn't have enough tools to, to make it so that the fight is impossible to to be beaten and what I mean is Lizard has a has his green ability that can go through uh, uh, invisibility 
so so yeah I know I know lizard can have a true heal but but those are you know those are things that you you've got to got to keep in mind as well now even if he matches matches away one of the charge tiles we're still in the catbird seat so to speak prehistoric bite again doesn't do anything to, to us more help and yeah, lizard will heal off some of the damage we'll take a match five and then go back invisible again As a tail whip can be annoying, but I'm really, really more concerned about that that endothermic, that or ectothermic. Ectothermic is one of those abilities that I just don't want to get hit by today. There's our complex prehistoric arms again. Doesn't do anything, but hey, we get to go invisible again. Oops. See, again, that's that's another one of those one of those threat assessments. Realizing who or what is a dangerous threat. And then making making certain that that you take out the proper enemy first. And see, I'm not just mindlessly, you know, making matches. I'm also I'm also you know looking at the board making sure okay if I make this match here does this does this give them an opportunity to fire up the powers and then finally oh <laughs> devastator well um yeah um I'll bring in the loner because I don't feel like uh, reviving my Loki. I really don't. Uh, the main thing here that we 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 have got to do, we have got to make sure that I beam does not go off. Or if it does go off, make sure that it's in a way that it's that we can advantageously, you know, either make a match or, or get, or put tiles on the board to where we can, you know, reliably, reliably match away. Got two match fives. Three match fives. We'll go this way. Now we can make we can make a little destruction. And then these two dagger surprises, regardless of uh, strength, should give them should get them out the way. Again, I'm I'm making this look supremely easy but but trust me like when you it's like it's all about 
third assessment and realizing what's on the board. All right, so I got these few fight for Wakanda tokens to that potentially may get me some Lokis. I don't know. Uh, two three stars. Okay, well, we got the featured She-Hulk. So yay. Um, nothing else here. Uh, I got one for Meat Rocket and Groot. I know it says two, but I always typically like to keep one in the vault. Nothing there. Loki and foes, I got seven. And so we can pull all seven of these here, because no sense in keeping them. They. These tokens here don't expire. I mean, they ex they expire for the vault, but the vault only only exists one time. All right, some magnetos, which I need those to get him rebuilt for champion Aries. Support token. Got two more to go. Last arrow, and then the final, final pull. That's ah, Electra. I'm not even gonna worry about about the daily deals, cause eh, it's like the the two colors that they have are yellow, and I can I can I can easily put put two in yellow based off of the shards and. How did you get away from me, dude? I bet you, bet you, you're like this. You're like, oh man, yeah, I'm gonna wait till this dude here is shielded, and then I'm gonna attack him. Eh, maybe I should probably wait the last eight hours or so and play the game. Anyway, okay, let's train up our Magneto at least one, then a save magnetic flood. I had a chance to level with both Ares and Hawkeye. Same with our three stars. One cover away from a cover for Iceman, which, which that's always a good thing because I'm restarting a, another Iceman and he's um well he's a he's a ways well a ways to go from even being another champion he's yeah he's at one 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 two so I imagine between now and the anniversary or whatever the case might be he might get some more levels uh so then I got another two minutes to go so I'm gonna go ahead and and cut this here off because I gotta do day two of meat rocking a group and I don't want to do that on cam because it's gonna be a lot of immortal Hulk doing what he does best and that's smashing or, or I should say dying and reviving probably not at the same time anyway y'all have a good one